The fact is that uh, we're going to continue this operation because the President and the Administration are absolutely convinced, uh, and, and I respect your opinion, we have the authority. There's no question about it because the 2001 resolution uh, addressed itself to Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, and associated forces. The courts have actually already decided this in the context of our habeas decisions that have been made. So all three branches of government are actually in agreement fundamentally that the 2001 AUMF applies to Al-Qaeda. ISIL, Daesh, uh, you know, and again, I prefer Daesh because I know that the Arab world has a real meaning with that, and I think we ought to respect that. But the fact is that they uh, fully uh, understand that uh, we're on the track we're on, and in my judgment, uh, everybody knows that this group merely changed its name. But it was Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And it's been Al-Qaeda in Iraq from, 19, from 2004, 5 and on. And everything it's done is Al-Qaeda in Iraq. And there's no question that we authorized this government to go after Al-Qaeda wherever they were. And we're doing that in Yemen, we're doing that in Iraq, we're doing that now in Syria, the Khorasan group, those are all part of the same. And that authorization fits. But we agree. We, we, have, we, we, have a, we have an argument. We don't, I mean, there's a non-argument here. We agree with you that it's better to have a new AUMF. And I've come to you today and said we will absolutely scuttle the, you know, we'd like to refine the 2001 for the period of time we need it. But we will show that this particular authorization is not based on 2001 any longer. It is based on what we are doing here.